Hello and welcome to another tutorial from the Reaper blog. I am John. I'm going to call this one Breaking Up Beats. So what I have here is something that was recorded on an iPad. I'm not sure which app it was, but when my client exported the files, uh, there's a few different sounds on the track. So I'll play you a little clip here. So three different sounds contained in this drum loop. What I'm going to do is split this up into individual sounds on individual tracks so I have control over it in the mix. Before I do anything, I want to make sure that I'm in the right tempo, which is 60 beats per minute. I'm going to zoom in and correct this offset here. So that should be good, but let's look at the end. Yeah, so that's perfect. Now, dynamic split. And because this is a drum loop and these are all like clean hits with no bleed or anything like that, these default settings are going to work great. So I'm going to split. I'm going to go to the beginning, hit tab, and go to the first item. So what I'm going to do here is move each sound to their own track. And to do that, I'm just going to hold down Command to copy and drag it down. So those two are kick. That's uh. Let's see them to the selection and shrink these tracks a bit. And that's a snare, that's a kick, that's a tom. That's a, uh, uh, that was a snare, and that's a kick. Oops. There we go. So if I polarity invert this top track and play everything back, we should hear silence. That means it's working. Hey guys, as I'm editing this video, I realized that I forgot to mention something. And it's pretty important to the way that I work. So I'm going to show you the mouse modifiers that are super important. Media item, left drag, hold down command to copy the item, option to move the item contents, and a range view, right drag, is marquee select items and time. So you select marquee items, just select plus set time selection. So that means that if I make a selection by right-clicking and dragging, it's setting my time selection. And it'll also select the items that are underneath. All right, back to the video. One thing you might want to do is just put in a tiny fade. So I'm holding shift here as I have all these items selected and I'm dragging that just so that there's no little click at the edges. Now this beat repeats several times, so I'm going to grab these and uh, move them over here. Let's see if that works. That's pretty damn close. I'm okay with that. It's it's really not. It's not going to throw this off of time or anything. So grab these. Oops, make sure my time selection is correct. I'm going to hit Command C. And let's look at this action called paste repeat. Now, do you want to put the cursor there before running this? Interval beats. Uh, that didn't work. <laughs> uh, run, no gaps. There we go. All right, so incredibly close. How many more times? I need three more. Uh, okay, and then we've got something else. So I can just take these two and cop them here, and then take this one and put them here. This actually this is probably a better one. All right, so I make sure that I'm on the grid lines and with the item selected, move the cursor and I need another three. So let's do that. Run three. Okay. And then back to the first one, but I could probably just grab. I don't know, maybe I can just grab these. Not this one. 
and C. Go here and looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight times. Run eight. That's not right at all. So you do need to be careful, which I'm not. So two. Why is that not working? Oh, I'm missing one. Kick. There we go. And repeat it seven times. So once you get to the end of the song and you've done your final check for accurate face, delete this top track. You can name your tracks, kick, uh, snare, tom, and now you're ready to mix. Hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And check out reaperblog.net for lots more.